In this video, we'll be finding an angle when the interval and the trig ratio is given. Our first example is to approximate the value of s in the interval from 0 to pi over 2 inclusive, so quadrant 1, if the sine of s is 0 0.3210. So we're looking for the angle given the sine ratio. Now, we can take this equation and arc sine both sides. So let's do that. Um, inverse sine of the sine of s. And then on this side, inverse sine of 0 0.3210. Now, whenever you do the inverse sine of the sine, then we get just s here on the left side. And um, this is what we'll be putting in our calculator, 0 0.3210. On our calculators, the inverse sine button is on this one, it's right above the sign key. So we have to press the second and then sign. But you'll need to look at your uh, calculator and see uh, what button you'll need to push. So inverse sign 0 0.3210. And so this looks like the angle is 0.3210. 6, 8. Do another one. To approximate the value of s in the interval from 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi, so this is quadrant 4, if the tangent of s is a negative root 3 over 3. So on this one, we have exact values instead of decimals like we had up here. So we can do this without a calculator. We're looking for an angle in quadrant 4. So I'm drawing my reference triangle. Also, um, this ratio, this tangent ratio, I'm going to unrationalize it. So when I start with a negative root 3 over 3, and I unrationalize, that means I'm multiplying top and bottom. Do it just like if you were going to rationalize the denominator. So this is a negative 3 on the numerator, and then 3 root 3 on the denominator. So the 3 over 3 is 1. So we're looking at a tangent ratio of negative 1 over root 3. So we have a negative 1 for the side opposite, and the side adjacent is a root 3. So we know that our reference angle here is 30 degrees. But since I'm in radians, because my interval is given in radians, I know that this is pi over 6. So if I'm going to give that answer in this interval, then s is going to be 11 pi over 6. Now, if you need to, you can do a conversion. Some students prefer that. I think it takes too much time. But uh, a 30 degree reference angle here would be 330 degrees. And so to convert that to radians, we have to multiply by pi over 180. We can simplify here, the zeros cancel. Dividing top and bottom by 3 gives us 11 pi over 6. 
So you can do that with um, converting as well from degrees to radians.